Yo guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be shooting this on the wide angle lens, the old kit lens. I haven't whipped that thing out in a while. But whenever I do like the back background, the black background, I have to do it because the other one's way too zoomed in because I have a crop sensor camera, so like everything's more zoomed in than should be on these lenses. You know what I mean? I, th I got a tutorial for you guys. I haven't done a tutorial in a little bit, and it's because I don't really like making tutorials. Um, because so many people on YouTube do it and I feel like you just go to them and watch the video So like if I'm gonna be making a tutorial, it's gonna be a homemade idea something I figured out myself and um, I haven't really found any other youtubers doing this except me So yeah, it's gonna be a great tutorial. So you guys stay tuned I've been shooting a lot of photos the past few weeks to really get a under better understanding of photography and I've been doing landscapes portraits really that and Really just I've just been going out in the mornings shooting Kind of like actually just once but I really like a bright look kind of like the pro mist film look because that's kind of like the look I just go for it just looks really great and it's just what I like so I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to get the pro mist film look in Lightroom if you do not have a pro mist filter because there are a hundred bucks I don't have one so that's what the video is gonna be about so the first thing I'll say is you do have to have a uh, edit on the photo like before you do this because it's kind of like the final touches of the photo it's just gonna make it look better at the end and just give it that look alright so once you jump into Lightroom you're gonna go to under the basic tab this is where we're gonna be doing all our stuff you're gonna go to exposure and bring it up just a little bit kinda gives it that bright look that film most film photos have um, but you don't want to overexpose you want it like on the very verge of it and then you're gonna want to bring the highlights up a bit around 15 then you're gonna go down to clarity and I never I used to never mess with this part of the basic like under the tab there I used to never mess with the bottom part just because I thought I always messed with the image but really the clarity if you bring it down a little bit it actually makes the image look really good it makes it look better um, but when you do that you'll see that it starts looking kind of soft where the highlights are and that's the look we're going for that's what the film look is or the promise filter look is it just softens the highlights but don't go any more don't go any under that or else just make it look really soft and fake and you don't want that look uh, and then you can go down to the sharpening decrease that a little bit because promos filter has these little things on it uh, it, it decreases the sharpening I'm pretty sure because that's the point of it. it it goes on newer digital cameras and decreases the look so it actually looks better if that makes sense um, but if you don't if you want to just know what promos filters do just go look up online so lastly you're going to want to bring down the whites a little bit and then you're done as you can see it definitely looks a lot better the clarity is really what mostly does the photo like makes it look like the pro mist look because it gives it that soft really highlights and just looks so much like a pro mist filter um, not exactly but really close to it so you know it really looks it makes the light look nice and diffused that's what I'm trying to say so I will have to say you, after watching this, you probably know that you have to have some of a basic editing experience when following this tutorial. I just want to make that like clear. You can go give any questions that you have in the comments because this is more of a fast paced tutorial. So the things I gave you were basically just final touches on the image and it makes it look really great. So you know that's basically that for the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I don't do tutorials very much so you know this is a special video. I had to whip out the old, the old gray background as I said um, but if y'all you have any comments or anything any thing you want to say or whatever you can like the video subscribe comment down below and as always I'll see you guys next time um, I did want to say that I got one of the these like adapters right here to put on the hot shoe come on focus all right this right here and it's a hot shoe adapter for the GoPro so y'all know the POV photography videos gonna be looking a lot better quality we're gonna have the GoPro I don't know about quality, but it's just going to be more interesting. So guys, I know I haven't talked about this, but I actually have a gimbal now. And I really want to do a video about it. I'll just get it out and show you guys. Here's the gimbal right here. It is the Zihoon Crane M2. Um, I haven't done any videos on it yet, but I do. I'm going to shoot some B-roll with it or something. Something like that. And it fits perfectly with my Sony A6400. And the Sigma 30mm f1.4.